Hello everyone, welcome to Mishi Blue Tarot. I am Neelam. And today we are going to be looking at an exciting reading. Let's see what's about to happen very soon or something that's coming in your life very soon. What's the energy? We'll try to pick up messages. We'll try to see what the universe wants to show. I'm going to be using the Psychic Tarot, one of my favorites from a dungeon of <laughs> decks that I have and I love them. Okay. And we are going to present uh, three options which you can choose from for this particular reading. So pile one is going to be Amazonite. Okay. Pile two will be this black tourmaline this is like my go-to crystal for everything it's a raw black tourmaline and pile three will be pyrite okay so i hope you guys can see the crystals here yes you can yeah so you guys can pause the video okay look at all the three crystals one two and three and go ahead and pick your piles i will pause for two three seconds for you guys to choose your piles what's about to happen whatever energy we pick up that's what we're going to talk about all right hope you guys have chosen so we'll begin with um, Pile number one, whoever chose this Amazonite. Let's see what's about to happen very soon. What's about to happen very soon? What's about to happen very soon? Pile number one. I pick up water, a pond of sorts, someone throwing stones and thinking of something coming, maybe a very strong two of wands energy of waiting and being positive in the wait. It's not like I'm seeing you negative. Just see, I spoke about two of wands, right? Look at this. Movement, choices, decisions. And this is the two of wands in this deck. Okay. Pile number one. I think people who've chosen this pile, you are at a decision-making path. Like, maybe you have to choose something. Maybe you have to make a move towards a particular direction in your life okay now what you're being asked is don't hurry things up what's coming is you will get that full clarity okay you don't have to take a decision half-heartedly you will get that full clarity that you need in order to take this decision or in order to move in a particular direction okay and whatever decision you take is going to support you, your growth, your awakening. Whatever is about to happen, okay, whatever is... Whatever is changing in your life, it's going to be overwhelming, but it is for your good. I'll tell you what, till now... The changes that have taken place in your life, none of them were negative, okay? But the way you have looked at things, I think you are perceiving it in that way that it was negative. But when in reality, it is not negative. It's not at all negative for you. What I'm seeing is... The reason why you feel like, like I said that I, I sensed a very strong two of wands kind of an energy. So the reason why you're feeling the way you're feeling is because this is not the time for you to choose. 
the reason why you do not have that full confidence right now to choose okay or to move forward in that direction is because you haven't you you haven't reached that spot yet of full conviction and it's a good thing don't get don't 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 get like all panicked up and all don't get too you know what i mean like do not get to don't start pushing yourself or beating yourself up that why do i not have the clarity no no the energy also that i'm picking up is not very light hearted i think you're used to beating yourself up over things i think you're just used to um telling things to yourself that you're the problem and you couldn't do this you couldn't do that i think you do a lot of negative self talk now that has to stop because in your life trust me today after watching this reading go back and you will understand that everything that you have done or the space that you have operated from there is a need for a change in the way you think now when i say change in the way you think is i am sensing that you've overthought about a lot of situations and you feel that everything that happened was negative and that mindset has to change actually it was not negative in reality it was something good that happened but maybe your mind just could not you just couldn't see it in that way at that time you just couldn't like maybe you just couldn't have that perception and hearing change your perception pile number 1 and then you will see that there are so many things in your life that are aligning and because of that one particular episode or one particular situation so many things of your life have aligned one after the other you will have that clarity very soon to be able to decide but now is not the time to decide sorry for the noise in the background i can't help it you will reach that place and whatever decision you take okay whatever decision you take it is going to be for your foundational growth now when i say foundational growth what i mean is it will be for your upliftment like one step forward of your life so if there is a pause right now if you're if you're thinking that okay i'm not being able to decide there hasn't been any growth what should i do etc etc see the reason why you're not being able to decide is because the next decision that you take is going to be about your growth okay and this growth is just going to be what you always wanted okay maybe you're stuck there so i don't think that there's anything negative that has happened here but let's see look at this the sun the judgment you will get awakened to this the strength wow so much of sun and fire energy i'm picking hang in i'm just hearing the word wait 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 today just wait tomorrow also just wait i think by saturday coming saturday i mean this saturday so where i am right now today is thursday so friday and saturday so around saturday i see that this voice of a particular uh situation in your life is going to become more clear so it will become more easy for you to take that call it will no longer be tough for you you will be able to easily decide something so wait for that easiness to come it's okay if you're not deciding right now okay wait for that decision to come like wait for that mental clarity to set in so that you can decide it's okay if you're not being able to decide right now there is no pressing deadline over here that you need to understand and there's a reason why you're not being able to decide right now okay you're waiting i can see because the vision that i had was of someone sowing throwing stones and water and waiting and thinking but yeah it's for a reason pile number 1 wait there's something very good about to happen which is why this whole wait is happening but let me try picking up what is this good thing good thing good thing good thing is what i'm hearing but let's just kind of take a sneak peek that what is this good thing what is this good thing 
universe tell me material harvest firm foundation i told you this is going to be about your growth you will see a very different side of you and things okay things that made you weak at some point of time those are exactly the things that are now going to make you stronger and when i say they are going to make you stronger what i mean is they are going to make you someone who is unshakable and the phase that you went through you had to go through that phase so that you're able to get to where you are right now okay where things are not difficult for you where you're sure about your decision where you're not doing back and forth about your decision so you had to get there you had to get to that point of knowing that okay this decision is something that i would want to stick to i don't want to change my decision which is why the back and forth probably would have happened okay so it's a very nice reading pile number 1 for you let me know in the comments if this resonated okay private readings are open so you can reach out to me and yes have some patience and just wait you know you will understand I I really cannot explain how it feels to just know what or where to walk. I I don't know. It's it's just till the time you're not there, you wouldn't understand. And people who are connecting to this reading, you know what I'm talking about. It's going to be it's a place in your life where you just know that okay, I am meant to do this. anybody can say whatever they have to say but this is what i am going to do this is what i am going to stick to rather okay all right that's it i have for you pile 1 take care all of you all okay pile 2 whoever got attracted to this black tourmaline let's see what's coming or what's about to happen very soon for you guys what's about to happen very soon for you guys i'm picking up stars though i have this sacral chakra which is a lot about creativity triumphant success material and spiritual prosperity Okay, pile two. Don't stop your visualization. That's one message that I'm getting. Don't stop yourself from thinking that this idea is will it even work? That kind of a thought. Don't think like that. If you at this stage have an idea, work towards it. Pursue it. What's coming for you is with every idea. there is a spiritual growth for so some of you you could be slightly tired in your life um but with every idea that you have right now and you're putting in effort towards you will get success in that direction no matter what happens okay there's a story in your life for some this could i mean this seems very specific but i don't know how many of you would just resonate with it there's a story in your life which has been inspiring you forever like it's it could be on and off in your life but it has never failed to inspire you now what i'm seeing is you can expect some kind of communication from this particular inspiration or this particular story that you've had in your life um your creativity is linked with this story something like that what's coming is okay 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 you know when i get messages they are like all 
from different different directions it's so difficult to process the moment you um pursue your creative side the moment you do that okay this energy will open up the energy for this connection you need to pursue this to make this happen and it's not like what's coming this information was important for you to know so that you can take action it will only come if you take action pile number 2 so take the action towards this situation which is ideas taking risks the inspiration that you have right now to do something take the leap of faith and the moment you do that you will see that there is some kind of power and courage that is in store for you it needs you to speak up as well this is more than what's coming it's more like what should you do i don't know the question is what's coming but the messages that i'm getting is what should you do so it's more like you should be saying something to someone like opening up or something to do with your freedom of expression like maybe you got slightly blocked or maybe you haven't spoken your truth for a very long time and that is becoming a barrier in your life and the universe now wants you to speak up speak up about what you truly desire and what you truly want in your life it's important it's very very important for you to open up and say what you desire the moment you start having courage to trust your instincts this connection that you always wanted will show up okay this connection that you have always prayed for will show up that's what i'm seeing what you always asked for something that you always craved for something that is always been at the back of your mind but maybe you have not explored it because you're underconfident do it do it do it do it pile number 2 do it for pile 1 it was take a break like slow down and for you guys it's do it let's see but give me a hint universe about what's coming wow in order to manifest this relationship pile number 2 you have to be spiritually awakened to a certain level and the calling that you're getting regarding maybe pursuing an idea or some kind of work is is the path to your spiritual awakening it is the path for your spiritual awakening it's just that you're not listening to that message or it's just that you're not confident to listen to that message okay you're being asked to be confident about yourself listen to what your heart is saying or whatever is in sync right now intuitively like i don't know what is that last push that is needed for you to pursue this but then you already know the answer that you will be fine you will be successful then why aren't you doing it maybe it's that final push that courage no see maybe you're waiting for this person to like push you but i don't think this person is going to show up till you push yourself sometimes i don't get myself where do i get all these messages from but yeah that's what i'm picking up for you guys that take that leap of faith do it and do it and see how many gates in your life are going to open one gate is linked to so many other gates of your life okay pile 2 that's what i have i hope this helps uh private readings are open so you can reach out to me and let me know in the comments if this made sense to you guys all right See you soon. All right, so now let's look at people who chose the pyrite. What's coming towards you very soon? What's coming? 
coming towards you very soon. Pile number three. Pile three, pile right. What's coming towards you very soon? Somebody is rushing in, in your life. This sound is like of a bike and I did hear the word rushing in. There is a new beginning of a new chapter in your life, which probably is moving from, this relationship is getting elevated. Like it's moving from the base chakra towards the crown. So you both are understanding each other. The cards that I have are the base chakra, movements, choices and decisions, then I have the crown chakra and then I have prosperity. There is a new offer and this is to do with your relationships. And don't give this credit to anyone. Stop doubting that you can be happy too. Because you are going to be happy and you have manifested this in your life, pile number three. This is coming. This connection has grown because both of you have done the work that is needed in this connection for it to grow. Okay. Both of you had to accomplish certain things in your life so that something can happen here. But what I'm seeing is you want it. I can see it. You want it. But you start doubting it. <laughs> Part three. And that doubt is because maybe you've seen a lot of failed relationships in your life and you just think that today it is fancy, tomorrow it can become ugly. I don't know why I picked this up. Why do you think like this? Oh my God. You can't run away from this, whatever this situation is, file number three. It's too spiritual and too cosmic for you to run away. So stop doubting happiness. Stop thinking that something good can never happen to you. Don't think like that. Because that's exactly what needs to change. Now, let me tell you, uh, if the more you doubt it, the more you run away from it, it's not like um, it is going to change. The situation will keep coming back in your life till you don't accept happiness. I think you're the sort of person who likes moderation, which is okay, but you can be happy in moderation as well. You just try not to be too happy about something. You just try that a lot. I can sense it. You want to be in full control of how you feel and your life in general. But I don't know why I'm seeing that there are moments when you probably go to your balcony and you start becoming grateful about the present, which is why you don't want to attach to anything better. But my dear, if this is resonating in life, our relationships that last the long run are secured attachments. In the past, if you've had failures, it could be either avoidant attachments or anxious attachments. For you, I'm sensing anxious attachments mostly. But now you're so secure. Now you're so sure about what you want to do in your life. Or It's not like you need something. You're not operating from a space of needs, but more from a space of love and more from a space of care. 
And I get it that you want to protect yourself. But the point is that you cannot know the truth of a situation till you are vulnerable. And vulnerability is strength. Vulnerability is that aspect of your personality which can be the biggest deciding factor for all your relationships. If your vulnerability does not feel safe with someone, then you know the answer. But vulnerability doesn't come from anxious attachment. No, it's a very secure attachment. You can be secured and vulnerable at the same time. And that space is called a healed human being. A person who gives fully also at the same time is happy and not scared of what's coming next. That's the energy that you are meant to get to in this lifetime, pile number three. And you will get there. You will get there because... Because it's destined. It's just meant for you. And you will be able to handle it. Which is why maybe you're pausing too much. Maybe you think that, okay, I'm not too ready. I don't know. But you're very spiritual, pal number three. You guys could be therapists. You guys could be tarot readers. Or you could be people who just are very in tune with the universe's energy. So what I'm seeing is, this is possible. You just need to open up a little more and stop fearing the feeling of happiness. Okay, let me see what else can the universe tell us about what's coming for you. What is the energy that you're attracting? What could be more beautiful than this? And this card to me is yin and yang. It's balanced movement. Commitment. A commitment of happiness. Awakening. Wisdom. You are moving towards making your weakness your strength. At some point, if this thing was your weakness, now it's turning into your strength. Now it's becoming something that you always wanted it to and it has become now. So maybe you just feel that, okay, how? I mean, have I achieved it? Is it even possible? Yes, it is. Because you've made it happen. You've made it happen. You've become like that and you are proud of the place that you are at. And if you're not then let me tell you, this reading is the source through which you need to feel proud of yourself of where you have got to now. From being an unhealed person to a healed attachment pattern that you have now. So feel proud of yourself. Okay, pile number three, that's what I have. I hope this reading helped. It was a wonderful reading for all the three piles and I love you all. Take care and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.